<clears throat> Hi guys! I know y'all, it's been a long time. Say hi Valerian! Say hi Valerian! You say hi! Say hi Valerian! Say hi everybody! Say hi everybody! You wanna see her? Say hi Valerian! Say hi! Yes, Valerian is five and a half months old. She is five months, three weeks old. Oh, say yay! I'm a big girl. I'm gonna turn her around. She's really into grabbing. Right? So I'm into grabbing, y'all. <laughs> Come on, sit down, girl. Well, I'll let you, because I don't know if y'all can see her. So, yeah, Valerian is five and a half months old. As of today, today is July the 6th, I believe. And, um, yeah, she's five months, three weeks old. Valerian will be six months old on July 20th. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes, ma'am. We're getting over a little cold that Viola gave all of us and if you're wondering where crazy Viola is she spent the night at my mother-in-law's house last night and so she's having the best time of her life <laughs> and so she's not here so we get a chance to vlog and I just said let me take this opportunity to vlog a little bit since I haven't vlogged in so long because life has been super hectic super busy and so yes so Valerian right now is weighing in at 17 pounds 3 ounces I know because we went to see the pediatric general surgeon once again about her large um, hernia which is right here show y'all if you're new to my channel she has a large hernia, as you can see. Um, when I was pregnant, they thought that it was a an emphalocele, which is where the abdominal wall is open at birth and the um, intestines and other organs are out. But it ended up, thank God, being just a very large hernia. And we went to have it evaluated once again. And the, uh, um, the surgeon said that she would fix it when Valerian turns three. So I said, okay, that's pretty cool. And also, uh, I know you guys saw that uh, Valerian has a Band-Aid on the side of her face. I put a Band-Aid on the side of her face because uh, Valerian also has, um, uh, you know, those strawberries, but the medical terminology for the strawberry is called a hemangioma. And she has been in this grabby, grabby, snatching phase and so every time she scratches at her face she snatches the strawberry which causes it to bleed like a murder scene you know what I'm saying because uh, hemangiomas they're made up of a bunch of blood vessels which is why they're bright red which is why they get the nickname strawberry because they're bright red bumps either on the back of the head on the side of the face and you know they show up different places and so yes ma'am you listen to mommy you listening to mommy yes ma'am girlfriend yes ma'am and so um to keep her from snatching at it um and causing you know until we can get it um lasered off i put a band-aid over it and so she doesn't um mess with it and so yeah, as y'all can see, Valerian still doesn't have any hair. She has very little hair. Let me show y'all. That's why I keep a little bow on her head. You know, see? She doesn't have much hair. But that's okay. So we get hair when we get ready, right? Right? And so she'll get hair soon, probably. <laughs> At this stage, I was putting ponytails in Violet's hair, so, and that's why you say you can't compare children because, you know, at this age, Violet had a ton of hair, but Valerian's hair is taking its sweet time growing, and that's quite alright, as long as, um, 
they make bows, hair bows to go on the head. I'll put it on there because I don't want people to think that she is a boy. And even sometimes when I go out in public, I'll have a nice big old bow on her head and people will still say, oh, he's so cute. And I'm just like, it's not a he, it's a she. She has a bow on her head. So a little bit about Valerian. Valerian is still drinking four ounces of milk. She's still on Infamil Infant. And um, I know she can drink way, she's allowed to drink at least six ounces, but she will not drink past four. She will not drink past four, and she still eats really often, like every hour and 45 minutes, not even. So she eats often, she eats small portions, but she eats often. Valerian is sleeping through the night. Hallelujah. She's sleeping through the night, but there is a small catch to that sleeping through the night. She don't go to bed until 11, 12 o'clock. So yeah, that's the catch. <laughs> but she does sleep until like today, she slept in until about 10 a.m. And so, but she did wake up, um, she did wake up once. And I fed her, and she didn't even wake up until about maybe 5, yeah, probably like 5 or 6 a.m. From sleeping from sleeping till she went to bed like 11 30 last night 11 30 12 I'm not really sure and then she woke up once I fed her and put a pacifier in her mouth and she goes right to sleep and we do still co-sleep she's sleeping on one side of the bed like she doesn't sleep up under me like that's how I get her to go to sleep I put her up under me and once she's once she stops sucking that pacifier, I know she's dead asleep, and I just flip her over to the other side of the bed, and she stays there, and she does not move. And I go on my side of the bed, and that's how we sleep. And so yeah, that's what's been working for us at the time, at the moment. So I mean, um, in the next couple of months, you know, I am going to be transitioning her to her pack and play because she needs to learn how to sleep by herself. And so, and I think it has a lot to do with the mattress. The mattress that came with the pack and play is not particularly comfortable. So, as soon as we purchase her one of those, probably those memory foam mattresses with a flat sheet, that's just how she likes it. Because that's how she don't sleep in any blankets or any sheets or any type of cover because we're in hot, hot, hot Florida and it's so hot even at night. And so, um, she has on her PJs and she and that's it i don't cover her completely at all because it's so hot at night it's so hot now because we're in full blast summertime and so yeah and as you can see she's i don't know if she's teething or not but uh oh you just spit up yes just a little bit i keep a bib on her at all times and these are the bibs I got these bibs from Walmart and um, these bibs have ooh, spit up they have the plastic on the back of them so they're a lot easier to clean and so um, I did that so that her clothes don't get completely soiled in um, baby spit and as you can see she's gnawing on her hands all day long that's just her favorite thing to do is rub those gums and so sometimes she'll use these two fingers and rub or she'll just use her thumb and rub whatever you know gets the job done you know what I'm saying and as you can see she's she likes to sit up she is what they call an assisted sitter if I can keep her propped up she can sit up but she's not really capable of sitting by herself just yet I did buy her a little uh, high chair, the one that goes into like a regular uh, size sitting chair. And so I got her a little high chair. And so I think probably about in a month and a half, she'll be fully sitting up by herself. We haven't really started solids. I do put um, the baby food in her bottle sometimes, not all the time. Um, and she loves that. She loves bananas. She loves um, carrots, green beans, um, peas, butternut squash. She loves all of that. She drinks that right down in her bottle. Right, Tunga? 
Right, Tonka? And so she has, she eats that right down. But, um, I haven't done it in the past few weeks because she's, you know, she's had a little cold. And so I just try to keep everything, you know, really simple. And even though she's had this cold, honey, she has not, her appetite has not changed at all. She had a very small bout with reflux, which lasted like a couple of weeks where she would, like, projectile vomit after every meal I don't know if that was like a fluke or something or a stomach virus or whatever but after two weeks it cleared up and she never had an issue with the with it again and so Valerian's overall temperament she is the easiest baby I have ever taken care of okay compared to her sister who's very high needs even at almost four Violet is extremely difficult to handle this is my calm to my storm okay she is literally the calm you can feed her put her in her seat and she will play and she will watch you she will look at you she plays with her toys and she's just a chill baby. She doesn't make a whole bunch of noise. You know, she may get into the chatty mood where she's just, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But other than that, she's not a crier. She's not a whiner. She doesn't, she has no colicky in her. She does not, she's just a good, 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 good baby. I'm so blessed to have this little miracle here. And sometimes I hold her, like if I'm doing something or watching a show, I'll hold her and she'll just be so fascinated by my clothes, by my hair, by my glasses, by her own hands. And she don't really give me any, she doesn't give me any much trouble. She doesn't give much trouble at all. She's a really, really good, 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 good baby, right? So yeah, that's just pretty much all about Valerian, right Valerian? You're doing so good. And so, she still, she doesn't crawl. We do a lot of tummy time. And she swims. She's not, she doesn't have the, the concept of, of, of crawling yet. I did just purchase a brand new area rug for the living room in anticipation, in anticipation for her uh, beginning to become mobile and crawling around. She'll have a nice, clean place to crawl around and um, I had to get rid of our last uh, uh, rug because Violet threw up all over it and who was trying to clean that? Not me. So I threw it out. Well, my husband threw it out. But anyway, that's just pretty much it for old Valerian here. She's doing pretty well. Right? Uh oh. You just are spitting up like crazy, huh? That's why I keep bibs and I keep my receiving blankets. Grab, grab, grab. Always grabbing. Yeah? Let me get that back. So yeah, that's just pretty much it with her. She's doing really, really well. I'm really happy. And um, yeah, she started trying to hold her bottle last night. Just the cutest little thing. She started trying to hold her bottle and since she's still drinking out of the four ounce bottles, those bottles are very, very easy for her to hold. And so a lot of times when I'm feeding her, she'll just grab the bottle with both hands. And I have to, you know, just help her, you know, keep it up a little bit so she can get some milk. But she does, she's really trying to hold her bottle. So yeah, that's a good thing. So that's just pretty much it. That's our little update. And so I'll see you guys next time. So I'll see you guys next time. Say bye-bye. Okay, let me get y'all up close. Say bye-bye, Valerian. Say bye-bye, Valerian. Bye-bye. So I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and I will see you guys on the next vlog. And I promise I'll get back to vlogging and give y'all the full update, life update on what's been going on with us since I have not been vlogging in the past few weeks. And yeah, that's just pretty much it. So say bye-bye, Valerian. Say bye-bye, Valerian. Tell him bye-bye. Say bye-bye. See y'all 